Eddie, what's your, your reaction to winning this tonight? Oh, fabulous. It's great. After so many years being in Longford, you know. I came to Longford in 1979 and um, just, I, I was in a, a bar in Ballymahon Street before that, an upstairs bar and, you know, I just worked from there on and, you know, coming in the year 2012 and uh, winning the overall, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely, it's really great. You were very confident, come on, be honest now, you, you knew you had it really. No, no, I would never be confident in um, in uh, competitions like this because, you know, judges, I mean, uh, there's lots of competitions for years and years, like the black and white awards, and, yeah. and, and, and you know, you can never tell how judges are thinking or what they like, what they don't like. Everybody's taste is different, you know. Yeah. So you can never bank on anything like that, no matter what premises you have. The best premises in the world have been beaten, you know, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 in competitions. So you can never tell, you know. Uh, how have things been for the pub trade in the last year or so? Uh, th things in the pub trade are um, they're slow, you know. Um, Midweek is very slow at the moment, and uh, but you know the weekends are not too bad. But you know people have to get back out again, and they have to go to the bars to socialise. That's where we came from. That's where our heritage is from the pubs, and you know our generations and generations have been involved in the, going out in pubs, and that's what we need to do. We need to try and get people back, keep the pubs as old as possible, work with and get people back interested in that that thought and that feel and, and bring them back out again to drink in the pubs, you know. Can you tell us a bit more about this hot tub? Uh, the hot tub was um, was a bit of fun. Uh, we just decided to bring it in and um, have it outside in the beer garden for uh, a few weekends and uh, it was great fun had by all, you know. They were, they were in and out of it and they really enjoyed it. The weather it. isn't very amenable though. It's not, but the hot tub was 38 degrees, so it was it was a great, uh, nice and warm and everybody enjoyed very it, you know. Very innovative anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. No problem. You're welcome. Thank you. And he's a person we've grown to, to love over the best part of four and a half decades. So it's a particular delight for me here tonight to announce that the recipient of the first Longford Vintners Hall of Fame award is a very deserved John Mooin. John Mooin, Hall of Fame award winner. How do you feel at scooping this award? Ah, oh, it's very good. Time? Very good. Great yeah. to get it. Does it make you feel old at all that you've been here for? Uh, well, it does, you know. I, 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 I didn't think I was around as long as they told me. Of course, of course I, I, I gave Joe all the info without know, knowing what I was at out there in the bar. <laughs> so it came as a total shock then, did you? It did indeed. <laughs> Were you embarrassed at being reminded of all your years here? Uh, not at all, sure. <laughs> It's great, to, it's great to be still around and, and doing it. That's, that's the way it is. Well done. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Well, Dan, uh, your beer garden scooped the, the big award. What was uh, What's the secret to a good beer garden, do you think? Uh, good weather, which we haven't had this year. But, uh, we still got a couple of good weekends, so we were able to do a few bits and pieces, a couple of barbecues, a few uh, outdoor live gigs, and obviously the DJ at the weekends is, is essential. And also. You also uh, you came runner up in the uh, entertainment award. I mean, uh, what uh, what do you think got got that award for you? Uh, what would you attribute that to? Well, we vary the bands. You know, we've, we've, we've a good mix throughout the year. Um, a lot of the bands that play play solely in Foley, so don't play anywhere else within the town. So it keeps the music fresh. Yeah. Also interesting, you know, you've got bands playing kind of regularly within the town. It kind of takes away from the musician because you can walk from one bar to another and you're seeing the same entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Kind of tie the bands down to just playing solely in your venue. It's, it keeps, keeps it fresh, you know. I'm surprised John Aldridge shouldn't get you an award this year. Uh, well, no. Although, in fairness, fair play to him. He came over and everything else, and we had a good night there with him. And yeah. he's, he's a nice lad. Good bit of crack now, and lots of stories about the, the Charlton here and yeah. Liverpool. There, and there's no end to those stories, really. No, 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 no. I'd like to be a friend of all for some of them. Yeah, yeah. We could have done with a better run though this time around, of course. Yeah, well, I think I was asked about a week before the, the Euros, and I, I actually thought to get out of the group, so thankfully yeah. I'm not a pun and no one took my word to put any money on it, so yeah. it would have come back to bite me. Alright, thanks, Dan. Not at all. Vicky Lynch, Barman of the Year, probably the most prestigious award, certainly got the biggest the biggest cheer. I mean, uh, what's the secret to a good Barman? Well, it's actually second I won it actually. I won it about uh, 15 years ago as well. Okay. So I did uh, through another, uh, through the same organisation, with different organisations, sorry. And what's, uh, what's the key to your success? Uh, knowing people's orders and just getting on with them and talking to everybody. It was a whole three or four conversations at one time. The last time you won, did you win as much as 250 pounds? Uh, 
can't remember what was that place to be honest. Um, it was just a vote, everybody came into the place that year and they were given a piece of paper to vote on who would have wanted to vote for that year. So I, we don't know the years. Anymore, no. So you're on a roll with these Bearmen of the Year awards? No, I'm actually nearly retiring now at this stage. I think, you know, I know it's, it's very good, it's great for Rugby Kewan's bar. Um, like I was in the bar business myself for years, you know, but, but it was actually very good for John to work from the job and up there. And, like I know a lot of the Stashers lads who I drink there. We have a lot of our GA clubs as well because it was actually great to get them on. So a lot of them voted me as well because I'm good friends with everybody and it's, 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 it's great actually for, for the Goins Bar that won it. But I don't know, it's, it's good. You don't get sick of these Slashers lads the whole time coming in. Well, it's not just Slashers, we have Kilishi, we have Termleash, we have everybody coming in. It's just getting used to the lads that know me now and it's, it's great, you know. So it is, um, I don't know, it's, it's one thing I love, I love Barwa. You know, it's you walk in the people, you meet new people every day. And that can be fair, you always say to me, there's something you learn something new every day, and I always do, you walk in, different people, different customers, it's 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 great. I love Barwa. You know. I've had a long, long time and I know I I hope I be honest, I long I don't know how long it'll last, but I wanna stay as long as I can. You know? so, cheers, cheers, thanks.